mistake. Well, we <laughs> fucked up. Headed next exactly? Um, not exactly. We're gonna go try and find some coffee and something to eat for breakfast. There was a little cafe that we drove past on our way here. I saw a sign that said cinnamon roll, so I might go try that. Okay. We'll see. You can also rent yurts here, which is pretty cool. We've done that in Michigan before. That was a ton of fun too. Not sure the cost on those, but we'll throw that up on the screen too for you guys to see. We just pulled off at Tolavana State Park. Uh, we wanted to check out Haystack Rock while the tide was high. Yep. Uh, it's not going to be low tide till about noon, so we're going to head north a little bit and come back down south down the coast again, and we'll, we'll catch it at low tide again. Yeah. But we're going to go check it out. There's a set of like a what are those like binoculars? It's, I guess. It's like a, yeah, big one old those public binocular. binocular things. But you can watch the puffins, I guess it's their time of year to be out here, so. Hopefully we get to see some, and if we do, you will too, hopefully. Yep. Oh my god. These are the cutest bunnies I've ever seen, guys. Yeah. so these bunnies are here but they're really cute they're, they're literally like the biggest chunkiest little they're bunnies i've ever so seen so cute and they let me get within like two feet of them they look like like house bunnies i don't know maybe they're just somebody's pet and they're chilling but i don't know they're so I don't cute think so um jeff pretty much was petting one but i mean i got pretty close but i mean this is really cute so anyway we're gonna go see haystack rock a little yeah. bit Zoomy dog. <gasps> Poor, little, Poor guy. little guy. Girl. Girl. That's a guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna happen to us. <laughs> he keeps falling. Poor little dude. He keeps looking down trying to figure out where the ground went. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Hi, baby. Why not? We're getting closer. Closer, closer. So, we think these people in these red suits might be like scientists or something. Yeah, coming out telling people about all the nature. Making sure we're not ruining it. Yeah. Sadly, people have to do that. I mean, just make sure when you're walking out here, you're actually looking at where you're going because it's very easy to step on something yep so just and keep that in mind i'm sure we might find a starfish and there might be crabs or something walking along the beach who knows these are all like mussels and whatnot guys this is super cool what are those like suction cup looking things? Let us know if you know. Do you guys read these like placards they have out everywhere? Oh, they oh. tell you what this stuff is. Oh, okay. So those are shore crabs, gigantic green anemone, anemone, 
that, that's that little thing we saw. Yep, that's that thing we saw down there. Uh, a Harrian Chiton. Harry Chiton. Uh, sea stars. I'm not even gonna say that. But yeah, we saw a lot of the stuff. That's really cool. So our dog wrinkles. Those. Dog wrinkles are the things that I said are clams looking things. zoom in. I don't think our camera could zoom in that far though either. You can't even really tell honestly on the GoPro sadly. Like you can see this like slight faint line right in the middle of the rock right there. That's where they're all perched up and then there's a bunch also like right on the tip up there. We'll have to throw some photos on. It's so cool. And then all these birds swarming around. I'm just glad we haven't been pooped on yet. Yeah. Foreshadowing. I know you're hungry. It's this fing seagull right here. It's this dude right here. He's got a fish and that one's yelling at it, is what it is. Look. He's following it around yelling at it. Oh, they're fighting for it. They're fighting for it. Oh, oh he, he got it. it. He got it. He took it from him. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they're waterproof. They are in fact waterproof. Because my whole foot was just engulfed in water. Poor guy. What a jerk. There's a half a crab on the beach here. You seagulls are savages, man. Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay, little guy. I wanted to record that crab, sir. He, he's just crunching the crap out of it. Uh, I don't think so. I, mean, I guess they gotta eat too, right? It's gonna get us next. I think it might still be alive. It, it's probably not. Oh, it's definitely not anymore. If it was, it's dead. If it was, it's dead. Oh, this one's on the pipe. Okay, we're out of here. Peace. <laughs> Peace, homies. <laughs> Sure, this is a starfish. Somewhere way back there is where we park. Nature, I just want you to know, you rock. So a little trivia time for you. In the movie, The Goonies. Kind of like us, Mike, The Goonies. It takes place in Astoria. How long would it actually take for them to bike down to Cannon Beach to Haystack Rock. In the movie, it's about 20 minutes probably for them. But what's the actual time? Let you us know in the comments. All I know is I smell food. 
It smells like pancakes. Okay, are you the same? They're not the same rabbits. No. The one earlier had a messed up face, remember? I didn't see the face. Bye, babies. Well, we just tried to go to Lazy Susan's Cafe, but they are cash only. Yep. But luckily, across the street, there's literally an ATM right yeah. across the street. So we're gonna get some cash and go see if we can get a table. Looks busy. It does look a little busy. But it smells good. Really Jeff got the last phone of the day. People are angry. So I understand why they're the famous scones and why there's only one left. And why people are coming in the door right now being told that there isn't any more kind of upset. They literally left me speechless when I took a bite. Literally speechless. It was amazing. I don't even like this kind of stuff. It's so good. We just had an amazing breakfast at uh, Lazy Susan's Cafe, and it was so good, and we stuffed ourselves with so much food that Amanda's in the back currently trying to take a nap. Uh, best food ever, though. Like, I, okay, ever might be exceeding the point, but yeah. it was it was phenomenal. It was dang good. It was absolutely phenomenal. We just got done eating some delicious breakfast from the Lazy Susan in Cannon Beach. Yep. Um, it was excellent. It was absolutely phenomenal. Can you tell them about that scone you got. Uh, what was the berry called again? A Marion Berry. It was a Marion Berry scone, and they said it was their famous Marion Berry scone that they make you know, only so many of every day. And today they made 60 of them, supposedly, and they we literally bought the last one. Yeah, our waitress ran over to get it when Jeff said he wanted one. She's like, we only have one left. She sprinted over to make sure Jeff got it. Yep. Um, served it to us hot right there before she even took our order. It was so good. It was delicious. If you're ever in Cannon Beach area, Lazy Susan. It was about a 45-minute wait out in the cold. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's no waiting room. So if you're going to show up, either uh, show up on a nice, warm, sunny day, which good luck with that in Oregon. Or uh, just be prepared to sit outside in the cold, which yeah. it was it wasn't that bad. No. You, you have enough time to be able to walk around all the other shops yeah. around. Which we did. We yep. ended up stopping in a couple of local um, shops. We picked up um, some local biscotti. Yep. And uh, a jar of... Uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce, yep. Anyway, now we're here... Uh, like the Devil's Cauldron. It's in Oswald State Park. Yep. Um, it's supposed to only be like a half mile in and out. Kind of thing very short so we're gonna go check that out real quick before we start heading down to tillamook yep we'll see how accurate them uh, all trails reviews are yeah we're off to the trailhead it's literally right literally outside right there. here yeah we're gonna go hang out in the devil's cauldron Ooh, spooky here we go making our way down Here's our nice paved trail. Don't worry if you do slip, you have all these thorns right here to catch your fall. I think over there is where we're headed, right down that little ravine. Uh, it's only 70 feet in elevation change, supposedly. I think these both lead to the same place. Wait, did the paths go in the same place? I feel like we're going that way, aren't we, or no? I feel like we are about the same time. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, we either are making. Ooh, we came to a fork in the road and we don't know where we're going already. You can tell we're not experienced hikers. Um, well, what's the worst that could happen? All right, we're gonna take, I guess, the uh, other path here. Do you know what the Devil's Cauldron is even supposed to look like? Okay, so if we get to this and it's wrong, we know we did something wrong. It's muddy right here. You, you did say the All Trail said it was muddy. Very muddy. You little dude. Jack moved him, so... I saved the snail. Making our way downtown, walking fast, getting to the Dove's Cauldrons ahead. I really hope this is the right way. <laughs> if it's not, we'll blame Jeff. But I'm pretty sure we gotta go right there. Oh, that fart's gonna make the cut. Uh, I think I'm going to pack the camera away while I attempt to traverse this. If we make it down to the bottom, you guys, we'll uh, bring them back out. The van's parked somewhere up there, like kind of right behind the big pine tree. Any last words, baby? I might have, I might have made a mistake. Devil's Cauldron Spin. Woo! Woo! -hoo. That was amazing. It, it is. This this hike seemed scarier than what it was. Um, we still gotta make it up first. We do. We do have to make it up, but getting down wasn't as bad as what I was expecting it to be. Um, it definitely. There was a few parts where I almost slipped and I had to put the camera away because that would have just not been good. But uh, other than that, I think Amanda found an amazing place for us to go. This this is definitely like a once in a lifetime kind of thing to see. If you don't take risks at possibly putting your life on the line to go see pretty things, you probably will never see them. All right, you guys, we're gonna head back up the mountain We'll see you in a little bit. Yep. See ya. Well, we f***ed up. Uh, turns out we didn't go to Devil's Cauldron. But we're about to head there now. Yeah. See you in a bit. So there's the Elkhart Trail. Elk Head? Or was it Elkhart? It was Elkhart? Okay. Oh, okay. I think it's the Elkhart Trail. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But there's two different ways you can go on it, and we went one way instead of the Devil's Cauldron. After our royal <laughs> up, we've made it to the Devil's Cauldron. We haven't seen it yet, so nope, we're gonna bring you guys. Let's walk up there together. This trail has been muddier, but a lot easier. So much easier to traverse, not nearly as much. Uh, there's many steep hills. <laughs> there's a little... Some sort of egg. Something hatched over here, bro. Oh. Let's go see what this is all about. Let's see if the devil's cooking anything good in their cauldron. 
<laughs> Another egg. If we would have came here in April, we'd be playing the Easter egg hunts. Hmm. Weird. Some sort of predator is actually probably doing it. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me this view up here is not going to be better. All right, we've been keeping you guys in the dark. You ready for this? Blow me. I think we were right over past that stuff right there, that big rock. I think so too. Um, personally, I think that was a better lookout point. Yeah, I think right down here, if I can get it, right in that little crack right there, is the, uh, the little cave way that goes to over where we were just looking earlier. And we got, that's pretty cool looking though. That little cave right there. Are you ready to head back to the van and finally go get some water? Yeah, I'm thirsty. The only water we had was the three glasses that we pounded at the... Uh, okay, stop telling people that we don't know how to take care of ourselves. We don't, we are terrible adults. We, we just keep passing every gas station and convenience store. Say, well, we'll hit the next one. It's not convenient to stop. We don't need gas yet. And there's too many people in the grocery store. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather die of dehydration. Well, let's go get some water. Yeah. And then let's head back down south some more. Yep, let's See keep what traveling. else we can get into. Um, so when we got out of the vehicle, and we literally looked at the map. The trailhead trail, like sign, says Elk Flats Trail. We're and just we, stupid. we proceeded to assume that where we were walking was the Devil's Cauldron because that's what I typed into the GPS. And also, it was my mistake because the road forked. And I said, This gravel road really sucks. Let's walk on the dirty, muddy one. That seems like it'll be easier, and it looks like they both turn the same direction. Well, we found out like two minutes later, they didn't go the same way. Um, now, it, they are, it is a trail that you can walk, so it is a thing. It's uh, just not the Devil's Cauldron. No, it's definitely for maybe a little bit more experienced hikers. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't it's bad. Not, it's not bad. It's just steep. It's a little dangerous because it gets so wet and muddy, and everything's just kind of loose and sloppy. Yeah. Um, and you're just you're walking like this the whole time down uh, we definitely have some pretty good footage of it but the camera won't do it any justice no. um, totally it, worth it yeah it's it's worth it. it was easy you guys it wasn't that bad so we're not complainers about it no we just thought it was funny that we definitely were like we did it we're at devil's cauldron no, yeah no. we we we, t we took so much more footage at the devil's cauldron and used up most of our battery but I will say I enjoyed not the Devil's Cauldron or whatever you yeah, want to call it. The, the Elk Flats or whatever that, where that trail ended was by far more beautiful. The Devil's Cauldron probably would have been amazing if they didn't have it roped off. You can't get anywhere near the edge to actually see it. Yeah, but I do understand why they have it roped off. It looks like some people have passed away recently there. And yeah, it's really far away from the ledge now where you can actually stand. So just yeah. keep that in mind. All right, let's go get some gas, get some water finally, and we're gonna keep heading south. We're just gonna keep driving. All right, so we just arrived at Tillamook Creamery. Yep, uh, we were just driving by. We're heading down south and we saw this big, huge building that said Tillamook Creamery, and uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not hungry, but I could really use some ice cream. Yeah, looks looks like a really nice building. Lots of people going in, so it must be okay, right? Yeah, I mean, there's people are going in waves into this yeah, place. Yeah, for a Friday afternoon, so let's go give it a try. I thought we were just getting ice cream. We're going on a factory tour. This will be interesting. It's there and it's out for Jesus.
God, I would absolutely hate this. The Cheddar Master is the cheddaring process. Do you just want to bag the blocks? I'm sure it's not that heavy. Even though there's a bunch of... Yeah, you couldn't pick that up, Amanda. There's no way. He looked like he was struggling. Yeah, it did. I don't... I literally thought we were just coming here to get ice cream. I didn't realize what this was. <clears throat> Cheese. Visual inspection right there. You just use a mirror, yeah. That's called the blue octopus. And what is it doing? Looks like it's just pressing the cheese maybe into blocks. Yeah, it's vacuum sealing the cheese. Yeah. Alright, it's available. You're welcome to try one of each. You. Thank Smoked you. black pepper is sold here exclusively at the creamery. Thank you. So we just found free cheese samples. They let you get one of each flavor. Black pepper, Colby Jack, and cheddar. Look, Brad, I got one now too. I think it's time to go get some ice cream. So it was a little too windy outside of the uh, restaurant. Uh, so we decided to come back to the van. This is a waffle cone swirl. This is a peaches and cream. And underneath this delectable waffle cone is a chocolate peanut butter cup ice cream. I'm going to try the waffle cone first and see how that is. It's pretty good. It's got uh, caramel, vanilla, chocolate, little waffle cone bits in it. Eat it. Um, out of 10, I'd say it's a 7.2. Uh, now onto the peaches and cream. Oh, uh, that one's a little bit of a letdown. I was hoping for the peaches to be a little bit more sour. Uh, I'd say four seven. And on to the chocolate peanut butter cup. Now I'm a little worried about this one because it looked kind of freezer burnt when he scooped it. So that one's actually really good. It's super good. So I got the monster cookie. The Coffee almond fudge, I believe. And then the butter pecan. Classic. Yep. So I'll start with the mom. Or actually, I'm going to start with the coffee since it's already kind of in there. A little melted since we've been waiting. Very coffee forward. I'd say that's like an 8.3. Wow, an 8.3? I like that a lot. Very, okay. if you like coffee, that's really good. Okay. All right, onto the monster cookie. Oh, it's not bad. It's like a peanut butter cookie crumbled in there. Maybe, I'm not really out, what, sure what else. It's like peanut butter flakes, maybe? Oh, is it like a, like Butterfinger flakes, maybe? I, that's what I think it is. I think it's Butterfinger flakes. Cause that's kind of what it looks like through the camera. That's not bad at all. It's, it's different. Okay, what's the score? I'm gonna say a seven nine. Wow, uh, it's it's actually pretty good. I've been excited for this one because I love butter pecan. You can't you can't mess up a classic. You would That's think not, like but no. Wow. Unfortunately, that's my least favorite. Really? Um, it's just not that good. I really like Hudsonville's. Okay. This, I, I'd give that like a 5-2. That, that one's not that good. Alright. Butter pecan, I, I don't think you're going to like it at all. 
Ew. That's a really bad Ew. one. It's a really bad one. Ew. Ew. One, three. <laughs> that was gross. And those are our scores for Tillamook Creamery. Hopefully we've been saying Tillamook, right? Yeah. If not, somebody will let us know where we're wrong. Yeah. And it could be you. Let us know in the comments. So we're finally leaving Tillamook Creamery. Um, we just spent last like hour and a half or so just chilling in the van in the parking lot. We found a campsite for tonight. Yeah. It's in uh, Otis, I believe. Yep, it's in Otis, which is pretty close to Lincoln City, which is where we originally wanted to stay tonight. So we're pretty happy about that. Um, it was a little pricey. It was like 60 bucks, but it was the only thing they had left for the night. I mean, it is a Friday night in May, so I understand. So, And I don't know what else is on the agenda tonight, so stay tuned. just made it to the casino or the adult arcade we're gonna go see if we can win some money oh. only makes sense that we try our luck at the Goonies game while we're in Oregon Well, for once, we actually walked out of the casino ahead. Yeah, we got a lot of bonuses. We did. But we stayed pretty consistent at about 150 ahead. Yeah, about 150 ahead. So I think we should go use that money and buy dinner. Yeah, let's go get some food. I'm kind of getting hungry. Yeah, it's about 8.30, so I'm pretty hungry right now. All right, let's go find something. So we're going to give you a little tour of the van we've been staying in for this past weekend. Check out this. 